This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the instructions provided with the Coordinate Software SNC Instruction Sheet 100-500. Coordinate, the SNC Protection and Coordination Assistant, is a time current characteristic graphing tool. The software lets you quickly and easily select the optimal protective device to best protect transformers, capacitor units, underground cables, and overhead conductors. The software also confirms the proper operation of protective devices, and it can selectively coordinate two or more devices in a series to minimize service interruptions. This video will illustrate the basics of the software and more advanced settings, including how the software can be used to select a primary fuse to protect transformers. The software is easy to use and includes a large library of SNC device TCC curves as well as devices and curves from other manufacturers. Coordinate software can be found by going to snc.com, navigating to support, and selecting the Coordinate software link under Application Tools. The software will work in any web browser but is optimized for Google Chrome. Upon launching, you'll be asked to accept the Terms and Conditions Acknowledgement. Be sure you understand these terms before accepting. This is the Coordinate Program screen. It has four sections, the Device Section area on the left, General System Information on top, the TCC Plot area in the middle, and Options in the top right corner. To plot a TCC curve, start by selecting the correct Frequency, Voltage Kilovolt Rating, and Available Fault Current settings in the Central System Information Area, according to your system. This should be entered before selecting a device. The voltage and frequency cannot be changed once a device is added. Now click on the Add Device button on the left. This will open a device selection area where you can choose protective devices from the drop-down menu. Let's start by selecting a fuse link. Once a device is added, the parameters for that device can be selected. The appropriate fields are added as you make your selections. You can choose the color of curve using this color selector. This can be useful when you're plotting multiple curves. In this case, let's choose SNC as a manufacturer. The parameters that appear are specific to fuse links. There will be different parameters depending on the device that has been added. Now, speed is available to select. Let's choose K, and for Ampere rating, let's select 25K. Adjust the Preload Amps and Ambient Temp adjustment settings. Click on the Plot button to plot the TCC curve of the fuse link. Pay attention to the size of your internet browser. If not viewed at maximum size, the graph can appear distorted. The graph is still accurate, but may look unusual. Be sure to view the graph with a maximized browser window. The log log graph shows current from 0.01 to 100,000 amperes on the x axis and time, 0.01 to 1,000 seconds, on the y axis. You can change y axis from time in seconds to time in cycles with this checkbox. You can also select whether or not to fill in the curve with the Curve Fills checkbox. When the TCC is plotted, the user can download a project summary in PDF format and the current project as a .coor file from the three dots menu in the upper right corner. A .coor file can also be uploaded from the same menu. To delete the current project and start over, select Delete Current Project. It's easy to compare two fuses by simply adding a second one. Click Add device. I'll choose another fuse link. I'll choose SNC as a manufacturer and I'll make this a 30K fuse. This will plot both fuses and allow me to make coordination decisions. That's a basic walkthrough of the software's functionality. Coordinate software can also help solve more complex problems such as choosing a protection device for a transformer. Let's add a transformer damage curve to evaluate how well this fuse link will protect the transformer. Delete the second fuse by making sure it's selected, 
click on the three dots and choose Delete Current Device. Now click on Add Device under the Fuse link. In the Device Type field, select Transformer Damage Curve. This plots industry standard damage curves for transformers. In the Device Parameters section, we now have a tree of devices, the fuse link followed by the transformer. The order of the devices is important when you're plotting a transformer damage curve. You can reorder the devices by holding and dragging on the device boxes. The protection device must be on top of the transformer, otherwise the software will use the voltage ratio of the transformer to convert the TCCs. Having the protection device on top of the transformer will give an accurate comparison as we have here. To plot the damage curve, configure the fields shown here. We'll start with the connection and choose Grounded Y, Grounded Y. At this point, we are presented with a wide range of selections. In our example, we'll choose a 500 kVA transformer. And let's leave the three-phase secondary at 0.48 and the impedance at 5.75. Of course, you'll need to use the actual specifications of your transformer. Now click on the plot button and see the damage curve. So in this case, you can see our fuse will successfully protect the transformer because it will operate before the current reaches a level that is damaging to the transformer. When selecting a fuse for transformer protection, we also need to make sure our fuse will not operate for magnetizing inrush and cold load pickup inrush as well. To plot these inrush points on the graph, click on the Display Magnetizing Inrush Points checkbox and then click on the Plot button. You can see the inrush points on the graph. The magnetizing and cold load inrush points are calculated using industry standard multipliers of transformer full load current. These multipliers can be changed by simply entering new values in each field. When you click on the Plot button, it will apply the new multipliers. With the inrush points plotted, you now have a more complete picture to evaluate transformer protection. One unique aspect of Coordinate software is the ability to upload or download XSPT files. These files are used with the Interruptor Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter. If we add that device, you can see there are many parameters to configure. Normally, you would need to set these parameters two times, once in the coordination software and again in the device software. With Coordinate, you only need to configure the parameters once. You can then download the parameters as XSPT files to your PC and upload that file to the Interruptor Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter. In addition, Coordinate software can also import XSPT files and display the settings of an Interruptor Pulse Closer Fault Interrupter. This can be done by adding a fault interrupter device and then clicking on the three dots and selecting Upload XSPT Setpoints. The Coordinate software tool is a diverse, intuitive program that can simplify your coordination efforts. We hope you found this video informative. If you have questions, please visit our website at snc.com.